we are going to look at a camper. Ferrari. It's not a Ferrari. Is that an ID? Buzz. This is an ID bus. Two here. massive batteries in there. Yeah. And that's my wiring for a horn. It's <laughs> good to know. I think you need that to get through an MOT, don't you? The uh, horn. Yeah, so there is a horn. Um, it passed its last MOT with that horn. It's just come loose um, underneath the front there. But yeah, no, it's not easy, major easy worry, is it? No, no, no. It's so easy. the engines are actually down there the under the, the seats. Yeah. I did not know that. So what I tended to do when I was camping, if I wanted to like turn the ignition on to charge my phone or something like that, I would just take this one off. Yeah. So then I knew that I always had one for starting. Right. But what you can do is you can get a leisure set up so that it's got like a clicker on it. So when so it's, you, it's off. You would disconnect that to make sure it didn't go flat. So that I've always got one, yeah. Just to make sure that if I'm charging my phone, using lights, whatever, I know that I can always start it with the other one if the other one goes slow. Smart. But I've not had that problem and it's really easy to do. The, the issue on my Mini was just this thing was like lifting off the contact slightly and it wasn't making a good contact. Oh, so it wasn't tight enough? Uh, probably, yeah. yeah. I think there might have been a bit of rubber underneath it getting in the way of uh, okay. having the thing on properly because yeah. I took it out and put it back on and it seems all right now. Okay. There's a horn. <laughs> that I yeah. <laughs> Looks like a good loud horn. That's what you need. Hey, cool. I've absolutely loved it, and I'm a bit sad to see it right on it. There's some wicked time, isn't it? Never had any problems with it. That wasn't my fault, but the brake pads, that was my fault. It ground down. Basically, I lost all my brakes, all the fluid came out, and it was my fault because I didn't get the pads How often do they need do? Well, that was the first time I did it, and I'd had it over a year when I did it, so they've got brand new pads on them, so you shouldn't really have that issue, if I'm honest. I don't think I had any advisories on this. There's still about eight months MOT on it, so yeah. it's, it's been done fairly recently. Yeah, the only thing that would worry me is you know, like this rust around the sills, yeah. but um, I'll have a speak to my mate because he has done some welding. He okay. might be able to help me with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, like the, this was the anchor points. It was the last MOT failure, so it was the seatbelt anchor yeah. points. So that's all been done already. That was the only thing it failed on. There was something on advisory about one of the um, suspension mounts or something. I think I had those you know, ones. Like the wishbones, yeah, had the wishbones done. Right, so there's nothing structural. It's no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, had the wishbones done. Yeah. Okay. What's, what's the advantage of having four-wheel drive on these as well? Yes, four-wheel drive. Take it off-roading and camping in fields and stuff like that. Let me just go and get the other one. Makes, you know. makes sense, yeah. You're going to get stuck in a field, do you? Yeah, exactly. So you've got a memory foam mattress. That's also a stretcher bed. So where we've got kids, we used to put the stretcher bed across the front cards. So a little one used to sleep in there. Slow. Oh, yeah, don't worry about that. Not for <laughs> something, there. That's all works. Okay, and these it's got the lifty up roof. Yeah. So when we when we got this, this was the other way around. Viking roof, whatever that's called. Uh, the AFT Auto Free Top. Yeah, on the VWs they call them a Viking roof, I yeah. think. Don't know why. Those are gold seats, so those flip up to the side. Uh huh. Yeah. This was the other way around when we got it, but I took it off and spun it around just because we had the kids and the dogs in there. Right. Right, that was Volvo 240 there. That's a wagon. Right, well, I need to think about this one because, as Ed Bolian would say, there's a lot of moving parts in this deal. I like the Mini, I like driving the Mini, 
it is a lot of money to tax and insure it. I don't really want to daily drive a van, so I'd have to buy another cheap roundabout to use in town. It'd be cool to have that and a van as well. Or do I try to buy the van for cash and keep the mini? And um, the, the other thing is, can I do the work on the van that it needs? And uh, you know, I think it's mostly cosmetic issues, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to cost a lot of money to fix it. So. And I've got to get it for an MMT. So, yeah, there's a lot to think about there. You might spend two grand on it, in which case, you might as well buy a decent van for twice as much money. But that one's not bad, I think it's really just cosmetic. Most of the issues with it. So, yeah, it's worth the money. What should I do? I don't know. Tell me what I should do.